Smart wool socks or darn tough? Hi, I'm Dr. Dave. I'm a licensed podiatrist. Thanks for watching my video on my Frugal Foot YouTube channel. My introduction to merino wool socks started with Smart wool about 20 years ago. I was at a cross country running race and they give you a goodies bag beforehand. It's got your running number in there and some other stuff. And they also included a pair of Smart wool socks. And I remember trying those on after the race and I was in love with merino wool socks from Smart Wool. They were the best socks I'd ever had. Since then, Darn Tough has really made leaps and bounds into the merino wool industry, and there's a lot of people that swear by these socks as well. Now, these are, again, merino wool. Merino is the name of the type of sheep that creates merino wool, and it's a much softer wool. You can um, wear it even in hot weather. It's not designed just for cold weather. You can wear it year-round. But these socks are blends, so they're not 100% merino wool. And the darn tough sock that I have here is 47% nylon, 46% merino wool, and 7% lycra, whereas the smart wool sock that I have is 66% wool, 33% nylon, and 1% elastane. Um, both are made in the United States. Uh, smart wool, I think, is in Colorado, and darn tough is in Vermont. So they are considerably different, generally speaking. Now, I'm not comparing just these two socks. I just happen to, you know, grab these particular socks off the uh, shelf, but, and I'm going to keep these. But, you know, generally speaking, the difference between the two is the density of the wool. So when you look at the darn tough sock, it's much denser fabric, and it's, it's basically uniform from the um, one end to the other. Now, if you turn the sock inside out and you look at it, it's very similar to the outside. Whereas when you look at the smart wool sock, there's a lot more of these little loops like that. And it, it just feels a little softer to wear the smart wool sock. Well, smart wool, what they do with their socks is they create kind of like this arched support in the sock. So when you look at the sock itself, it's kind of like two parts. There's the upper and the lower. And this, when you wear this, it just forms around your arch a little nicer than many of the darn tough socks. Just when they get wet, they don't seem to slip like a lot of the darn tough socks do. On the other hand, having this more rugged sock means that the sock is going to last potentially a lot longer. In fact, these darn tough socks, that's what they're known for, their durability. These have a lifetime warranty. The smart wool socks usually come with a two-year warranty. With these type of socks, the thing is you gotta understand they're very absorbent and they do hold a lot of moisture. So um, this one being a little bit more rugged and uniform means it's gonna hold water a little bit more and that could be a problem if it gets soaked um, both of these, though, will dry out very nicely if you just let them air dry for um, like a, an evening or a day. You don't even have to go with Smart Wool or Darn Tough. I mean, there are knockoff brands. Um, I've seen some that have a lot of, you know, like in the hunting stores. I've seen a lot of companies like Browning or maybe Remington. But they, they have somebody make the sock and they stick their you know, their little label on it, and it looks like they made the sock, although they probably didn't. So, but those have the same type of um, merino wool in them. So that's the difference, basically, the rugged sock versus the one that maybe fits a little bit better and is a little bit more snug around the arch, but that's the big difference. So check these out. You can, you can find them at most outdoor stores as well as online. I'm Dr. Dave, and I'll see you on my next video.